Good afternoon everybody, how are we all doing? It is Thursday and I forgot what day we're on and I hope you're all doing okay. Not in the fibro warriors, I hope your pain level's okay. Uh, don't put going, are you alright? Because you probably think you're being patronising. Um, but yeah, I hope you're okay and your levels are not so high. I'm still struggling with this left shoulder and arm with the achy pain and I bought some stuff to try and help. I, I don't know. I had one on my shoulder last night and one on my lower back. It's like, uh, you know those heat pads you can get? You can just stick them like that on your back and leave it for a few hours. This one in a blue packet, I think it will freeze, cold freeze or something. What? You put it on, it's supposed to help. Didn't even touch me. I was like, what's that one worth of three quids? Because I got three packs. And yesterday I went for a drive. Uh, to, I had to go to somewhere, so I went for a drive and I looked in here. Let me know in the comments below, guys, if you s struggle with this. But it's happened to me a few times over the years when I'm walking, so when I've sat down, it feels like someone's just put like a bit of on a nerve and you're like, whoa, you know what I mean? That feeling of you're going to fall. Um, it's like a weird, I don't, I can't describe it, it's a weird sensation. It's like someone's just prodding you and you're just like way up, legs have gone, that type of feeling. Um, but yeah, Louis is doing some homeschooling, that cat is in naughty prison, cat prison again, because he's been naughty. And Bella's on running around, she's getting neutered next month. Can't believe it's what? June is it ending next week or week just starting up? Sorry, Ooh. 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 I'm not sleeping very well at the minute. Um, I just can't get comfy, and when you get comfy, then it's like, and you know you're getting comfy because that feeling it's like, oh, I'm comfy, I don't want to get out, and then your blood's like, yeah, you, your blood is like, yes, you do need to go, go now, go now, you're gonna win yourself now. That, oh, I know I did that in the car yesterday. I, I don't know. I started sneezing and I was driving and I thought, oh my god, woo! I'm trying to sleep, sleep, all like that. Then I thought, I need to go to the toilet. I'm going to wee myself. <laughs> anyway, so what we're going to talk about. So I took my daughter to an uh, autism appointment the other day, on one Tuesday. Uh, she went in, I don't know what happened, it just told me when they came out after an hour um, that everything went alright and stuff like that. And then I'm not going to hear back the results, the diagnosis or anything like that for a couple of months. I'm like, oh my God, it's just like how it happened with Hannah. She was 14 and obviously, I should, now, now knowing Back then, our behaviour was and stuff like that. I thought, oh, she should, should go out. Back then, but I, I wasn't aware of autism until Anna turned. But oh, it was forty fifteen, I think. She, that's what happened anyway. I can't. I'm not gonna get into it. But she got a final diagnosis when she was sixteen. And the school refused to help her as well. Just like the reason why I pulled Olivia out because the school says it's disability friendly, it's anti bullying, and you know, the list goes on. And I'm like, well, that's a pack of, you know what I mean? Because bullying, I'm not saying Olivia's innocent, she by no means, and I'm sure she has gobbed off a few times at people, you know, mouthy. You know, like girls do. Um, and if she's ever done all like that, she gets she gets right ticking off. But it's more like a disability friend, a thing. So Olivia used to have a stoma. And she's, even now with the say but she refuses to look at it. She refuses to do anything with it. I've got to do it all because she won't look. She looks all like that when I'm changing the stick here. It's just a fear, I think. I don't know what it is. Same when she had the storm bag first. I had to clean it. And then I had to be on call all the time. So I couldn't go out to work at the time. Because uh, what if she leaks at school? And you know what I mean? I had to get down there quick, change of 
fresh clothes, blah, blah, blah. When it came to going to, to year seven at the first, uh, high school, we're not going to mother, mother could learn, she needs to do it herself, blah, blah, blah. Just the way they spoke to me, I spoke to Olivia, I thought that's disgusting. Just let, then I thought, you know what, stuff that school, I'll do, start on school, you know. But she wanted to go to school after she had the ace put on feed. So she went to school and they still, she's got a toilet pass. She has another part, five, is it a timeout pass? And she should have a wellbeing pass and a few other passes, but so she can get out of class a bit five minutes before to get to another class and I'll get pushed and if Yanka at her spot, it's going to fall out and it's going to be painful. Keep emailing, keep emailing. I speak to the same corp lady. She said I ordered them months ago. Livy's come home saying, well, they're not going to let me have it. I've got to have a good enough reason why I should have the passes. I'm like, what the? So, yeah. After a long, hard think about it, I pulled her out because I'm sick of it. No, no, get stoned. She's coming home. She's anxiety, stressed, and so and what refuses sometimes she won't refuse to go to school. There's other times where a better girl gets a better of her, and I, I can't send her in. What she falls, and then they go, Well, why did you send her to school today? If she were like that. So, yeah, I thought the best thing is at least you can get up a little bit later. If she's dizzy, she can sit still for a bit. She's not having a panic about getting up at six o'clock in the morning, getting dressed. Get... No, I'll let you out in a minute. He's in cat prison because he's been a naughty boy. I'll let you out in a bit. Anyhow, so, what was I saying? <laughs> Brain fog. Oh, it's really bad today. Fatigue's bad today as well. So re that's the reason why I pulled her out. And also there was an incident at the school in and the police got involved. And, yeah, I'm not going to get into that because it's a bit, you know, it's my daughter's privacy and stuff like that. Privacy, whatever you want to call that word. So that is something. And that's re also the reason why. Because I didn't want, she would get picked on over it. So, and girls being girls, I'm sure you all know if you're a female watching this, when you're at a kid, school, well, the girls can get bitchy and nasty, worse than boys, you know what I mean? So, today she's doing, I've just told her to go in, find a recipe, and we could do some baking. So, that's part of the schoolwork today, is obviously we woke up a bit late, I'm not gonna lie, we had a rough night. So today she is gonna. Oh, that's, I'm struggling to keep my eyes open. So today she's in a room at the minute doing a. I've told her to get a recipe down, like a cake or buns or whatever. Because I'm gonna go and buy some textbooks. Uh, you know, like you used to get at school and then you glue it in and pop it on a page. <laughs> so she's doing that. And then I'm going to go, I'm going to go buy the ingredients and then she's going to do a bit of cooking. Now, that'll probably have to tomorrow now, but at least she's done a bit of work today. Tomorrow she can do the cook. In fact, we might do a bit later on and then she can do some more work tomorrow. Um, I'm trying to think of stuff. English maths. Um, yeah, I told her as well to a bit of, a, bit of maths. Get like... I know it sounds stupid, but get a note, a clipboard, write stuff down, prices, etc, etc. You know, that maths, and then add it up as you go, and then try and do it with a calculator later if you can't work it out. Anyway, long, we won't get into that right now, because I'm starting to really feel a bit drowsy. I'm tired. Let me know what you guys are getting up. Also, Fibro Warriors. Before I go, do you get a twitch? I've got a twitch in my eyelid now. I think we all get that. But I've noticed in my chin, so how? I've noticed in my chin sometimes. I'm like, why is my chin twitching? It's like, I can barely doing that. Let me know if you. <laughs> God. You, the things we find out, uh, more, the more they find out, I'm like, what the hell? Surely this can't be fibro. Really? <laughs> I think doctors are just saying it is because they can't be bothered anymore. 
and the whole for run. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna look at you leave because I'll be babbling up for another ten minutes, and I'm gonna have to go and take some pain relief for this screaming shoulder. I'm gonna go catch up on what Olivia is doing. So if you like this video, please press a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and press the notification bell. Please like it and share it. It helps with the algorithm and it helps push out my videos further out to other people in the world. Yeah, and soon I'm going to try and order some American sweets. I forgot all about it, to be honest. And I'm going to buy some chocolate. Then I'm going to buy some British sweets and let's see what tastes, if they taste. I've heard some mixed, message, mixed reviews about American sweets. But let's see how it goes. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.